Hi guys, Top Ops here, and this could be one of our last pop hunts for a while now. I don't exactly know, but because of all of the, you know, quarantining and stuff like that, we're gonna try our best to have a fun pop hunt today. So we've, we're at the Lime Ridge Mall right now, and then over there we also have Toys R Us. We're probably gonna be going to both of these, for sure Lime Ridge Mall, um, and now that I mentioned Toys R Us, we're probably gonna have to go. But anyways guys, let's go into the mall first, and let's get started. All right guys, so it looks like the first stop of this hunt today is going to be EB Games, so let's see what they've got. Okay guys, so here is the section back here. They've got a lot of good pops. So I noticed up here that they did get in the Thanos. Nothing but the con sticker, so I'm not gonna be grabbing these guys, but they do have this one in. And I haven't seen any of the other ones, but they did get in Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. So I think I'm gonna grab this one today. This is a new one that I haven't seen before in person. So yeah, we'll grab one of those. And then I also noticed they got Shinso down here, um, which is a pretty cool one from My Hero. I like that one a lot. Uh, we got Black Widow up here, Miami Vice, Big Daddy, Billy Madison, Monster from A Quiet Place. They also got some of the WWE ones in, but other than that, I don't see too many other things that are new. Um, but yeah, they do have Raiden with Lightning, that's another cool one. But yeah, other than that, they have like Backstreet Boys, but I think we're just gonna be grabbing this one for now. I'm still gonna keep looking to see if they have anything else. All right guys, so here is their sale section over here with Pops being like $10. They also do have some normal priced ones as well, um, but they do have some new stuff over here that I noticed. They have in like some of these ones like Fate Crash Bandicoot. I mean, it's a new one for this section anyway, is what I'm saying. And they also have Toonami Tom up here, which I was surprised about seeing in the sale section already because it's a pretty cool figure. I'm surprised it hasn't sold out. They also have Pennywise with Glowbug. This one's not on sale, but it is over here and then they also have the female psycho from borderlands 3 so yeah that seems to be about it we're just grabbing super saiyan 2 vegeta today looks like all right guys we got the pop now on to the next door okay so for the pops over here at sunrise records it seems to be pretty much the same as normal i'm not seeing anything too new i mean actually last time we went pop hunting they had ava duvernay out and that's pretty much the only new one that i'm seeing here. i mean i'll back it up so you guys can see everything but uh, yeah, not too much going on over here, that's for sure. Okay, so next up is Hot Topic, and I do have hot cash, so maybe we'll find something cool. All right guys, so here is the pop section. Honestly, I'm looking around here, and I have most of the stuff that is exclusive to here already. You guys know that. Um, so when it comes to hot cash, and I want to use it, it's pretty much like everything's been picked up that I want. Um, Noah's still looking around. He might get something. I don't know where he is. Yeah, he's looking around over there. Maybe he'll get something. But um, I don't know. Uh, in terms of pops, like I said, I'm, I've already got most of this. Like, I've already got Mitsuki Sage Mode. Um, those ones over there. I mean, I showed the Drag Queens. I haven't picked them up, but I don't know if I want to get them. We've got Batman up there, which I already have. Uh, Wednesday Adams is a cool one. Um, we have Kid Flash and the Joker. I have both of those. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to keep looking. I'll let you guys know, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything today. Well, honestly, guys, we didn't see too much in the Lime Ridge Mall. It was fun, though, because we did have some, I guess. They yeah, did okay. have hand sanitizer. They did have lots so. of hand sanitizer. So, we got we that. And we also that. got Starbucks. But other than that, not too much. I did get one pop, which I'll show you when we get back to the studio. But I think next up is going to be Toys R Us. No, we'll get some books. Oh, he did get some books, yeah. Anyways, let's see what they've got over at Toys R Us. Hey guys, so here's the first little section here in Toys R Us. And the first one that I found was the Cara Dune Special Edition exclusive. Pretty cool that we found this one. I don't have it. I believe it was an FYE exclusive in the States. But uh, looks like I'm going to pick it up today. Okay, so here's the big wall here. They have a lot of cool exclusives. Now I'm holding these ones, so it's hard to kind of film. So I'm just going to show you these ones first, I guess. They have the Beta Ray Bill. Um, which is really amazing. They only had one of them left, so I'm glad I got that one. It was right over top of someone, and I grabbed it while he was looking. I wasn't looking at that one, but I wanted to make sure I grabbed that one. Then we have Cara Dune here as well, like I just showed you. So I guess let's kind of go through some other stuff that they have. Um, to be honest, this is all kind of stuff that we've seen before over on this side. No new ones that I'm seeing anyway. Uh, but they did get some new exclusives over here, which is one of those ones. They have Hawkeye, um, Elektra, Alan Parrish. Batman's another good one. Um, they have the Wood Deco Captain America here, which is cool. The Metallic Piccolo. Uh, Majin Buu is another cool one right there. I like that. Now, okay, this is a funny one. I, you guys know Ryan, Ryan the Pop Guy, my friend. Um, he and I were talking, and he was like, hey, I have the Mandalorian 2-pack at my uh, Toys R Us if you guys want me to pick it up for you. I'm like, that'd be great. I haven't been able to find it. And he sends me a photo of D.O. and BB-8. I mean, to be fair, he's never seen Star Wars, but I thought he would only found the Mandalorian. Anyways, guys, not too salty about that, just, just slightly. Uh, but what else we got here? We've got the Tom Bruce monster down there. We've got the Great Ape Goku. Um, but yeah, guys, to be honest, that seems to be about it for the normal size pops that I want to pick up. They do have Pusheen with Pizza, Thanos, Jack-Jack, and Toothless. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're just going to be getting those two today. All right, guys, we got our pops, so let's keep going. Okay, mom, we are going on a secret mission here because we, we remembered that Staples sells toilet paper and uh, someone forgot to buy it when they had it in store, that so. That is not true. Daddy said it was not going to be a big deal. Never mind. 
But anyways guys, after that toilet paper fiasco, it's kind of uh, windy out, but we are going into Walmart, not because they have lots of pops, but because we're looking for Pokemon cards. Also guys, here's another thing why we're buying Pokemon cards. We start to get into them, and here's the thing. If they're gonna be closing stores so we can't go to them, we might as well get a lot of them now, so that way we can have fun with them over the, you know, quarantine. So uh, let's see what they've got here. Honestly, not as much as I'd hoped. They do have these though, but I refuse to buy another one. It was a good pack, but uh, if you guys want to check out what we got, go over to the second channel. Uh, anyways, we'll let you know what we get. And uh, I guess, guys, they do have some pops. They've got the Thanos as well as the Green Chrome one. Not going to get them because I already have them, but I thought I'd show them. All right, guys, so we are now back from this pop on. It's actually a couple days later. I didn't have time to film the outro for it yet. Also, I got to move this chair out of here because I want to show you guys something that we've been doing. So because of us not being able to go out many places, um, Noah and I kind of snuck out to like EB Games and Walmart. Um, so we have had time to kind of do some Pokemon videos. And we have another one coming up soon. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. But we went over to Walmart and we picked up some cool stuff. So I grabbed these here. I grabbed two Pokeballs that we are opening up. There's three, um, like, you know, packs of cards in there. And then we also have the Ultra Ball here as well. So that's pretty cool. And then I grabbed three of these as well. So we are opening up nine packs of cards over on the second channel. If you guys want to go check it out. I don't know if it's going to be out yet, but um, by the time this video comes out, but I will, I do have two other videos on Pokemon cards over there. We get a really cool rainbow rare, if you guys want to go check that out. And then we also did a video opening up the Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer box. So anyways, if you guys want to go check those out, if you guys are a fan of Pokemon, um, go over to the second channel, Top Pops Reviews. I also have it in my community tab, if you guys want to check that out. But I've been doing a lot of Pokemon stuff because we've had more time. So if you guys want to see that, go check them out. Now, let's get into the stuff that we picked up today. So we got two really cool things over at Toys R Us, but I want to show this off first because I did get this one first in the video. Um, this is the, oh no, oh no. I don't know if it was like that before or if I crushed it. Shoot. Um, this is the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Anyways, ah, damn. Okay, well, anyways, hmm. That's annoying. I wonder if I can return it and maybe switch it. I don't, I don't think it was me. It must have been like that. Yeah, all of them are kind of damaged. I thought this one looked good, because when you're in the store, it's kind of hard to look around. But anyway, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta's right here, uh, which is pretty cool. There's the damage there in the corner. It's not horrible, so if I put it on the shelf, you wouldn't even notice it. I wasn't thinking of selling it either, so if I put it right there, whatever, nobody would notice. Um, but this has some great detail on it. I love the figure. It's a previous exclusive one. Um, so I think, like, previous exclusive is, is like a... Uh, a distributor that sells figures to other stores in case you guys are wondering so places like eb games and say like you know comic book stores i think entertainment earth gets these in as well um which is one of those types of places but yeah so it's technically a place that gets exclusive because of how many figures they buy but they're a distributor for more figures i don't know it makes sense because it's like whatever the other stores get them if you guys are wondering that's why um because they're a distributor and then they distribute them to other places like eb games and stuff like that anyway still a really cool figure um i'm a big fan of this one it's also uh, i thought it was a glow-in-the-dark one i swear they made a glow-in-the-dark version of this maybe they didn't maybe i'm crazy um, but anyway still a really cool figure and i'm glad i got this one okay now the other two things that we got were over at toys r us now these here I'm surprised these things were out. Like, the one makes sense, the Cara Dune here. This one came out a while ago to FYE, which is still a really great figure. I don't have it yet, so that's why I wanted to grab it. I don't think I have a single Cara yet, so I should grab the other one. I don't think I have it. I'd have to look into it, but I don't think I do. Anyways, there's Cara Dune right there. This is the FYE exclusive where she's got the huge gun in her hand, um, and I think a different haircut as well. No, maybe the same hair, but the other one, she's got, like, two weapons in her hand. This one, she's got, like, a huge gun. So that one's pretty cool cool. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. So there's that right there. Also, I heard they wrapped up filming The Mandalorian Season 2, so I don't know when that's going to be coming out, but that'll be pretty exciting to uh, see that one when it does. Now, the other thing that I got here was the one that I was probably the most excited about because I had no clue this was actually going to be there, um, and this is Beta Ray Bill. Now, this is part of the Marvel 80 Years figures. Now, this is one of those weird ones. I guess this is from the Mighty Thor number 337, and... Um, I just don't understand this figure. I guess it's very minimal, or maybe it was just in that comic, because I've never heard of this before um, Funko made this one, but it's still a really, really cool figure. It's got some great de detail to it, like I mentioned. If you guys want to see there, guys, there is the um, first appearance comic book that he was actually in, and there's the uh, the title of it right there. So really, really cool. It's got some great detail. I actually want to pop this one out real quick to see what he looks like, because this is such an odd character. I'm gonna have to do some more research um, and look into him a bit more, but I do like the lightning 
on his um, hammer there as well. I think it looks really great. Um, but overall, just an amazing figure. They, yeah, they got them in at uh, Toys R Us in Canada. In the States, they are a Walgreens exclusive. So if you guys are able to make it out there um, safely, you know, with uh, social distancing yourself, if you guys can make it out there safely, um, I recommend picking this one up or any of these guys, to be honest. I don't know what happened to this guy, but even me sitting him like this, I can't even see the damage on it. Like that right there, you don't even notice. Um, so anyways, guys, overall, that's pretty much all that I picked up today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I mentioned earlier, if you guys want to go check out the Pokemon videos, um, I've been having fun with them. Um, so Noah and I have been opening up some packs. It's, it's, it's been fun anyway. So hope, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.